This just might be my favorite cleaner ever. I'm obsessed with the sister of this cleaner. See this toilet down in there? See those dirty, grimy spots? And up in here, which is really hard to get. I love a good spray cleaner. Today, I'm gonna show you six ways to use this product. This is not sponsored, by the way, plus some bonus goodies you're not gonna wanna miss. Such as, look at all these water stains right here. You got any of those? Thumbs up, let's banish it. I'm gonna do just a little bit more in here. We're gonna come back to this in just a second. I previously did a video on this to degrease your cabinets and it worked amazing, so I'm gonna link that in the description box below. Dun, 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 dun. Let's look inside my oven and my oven door right here. Can you see? See all that going on up in there? Look it back in here. My husband, love him like crazy, but we're gonna tackle this spot right here. I'm gonna save that for a later video because I wanna try a different product. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this here in my oven. See this sticker right here? I washed this in warm water and this came out all stuck. So I'm gonna show you a little trick here with the sister product. I'm gonna let that sit for a hot minute. I'm gonna run this through the wash and I want you to see how well this comes out on the fabric. Without damaging it, that's the key. It also says that you can use this as a laundry pre-wash. I've never done this before, so we're gonna give it a try. Normally, I would throw my whites in with my magical whitening routine, but today, I'm throwing this sock in with these colors. We're gonna pull it out and see how well it works as a laundry pre-wash. Socks going in with my colors, along with that shirt with the sticky residue. Warm water and a quick wash, which is about 25 minutes or so. I lied. 20 six. I've also been using this to clean my stainless steel sink and it's worked better than anything before. Barkeeper's Friend baking soda, vinegar, why? Barkeeper's Friend baking soda and vinegar will often leave a white residue if you do not get it washed out completely. Oh yeah, and we're gonna do this situation right in there. Let's just let that sit for a hot minute. Now apparently you can use this on windows. Dilute a half a cup into one gallon of water. Well, let's just see here, see this spot? Boop down right there. I'm gonna go in with my e-cloth. Typically I would just use this with water. Let's just see how that comes off right there. Ooh, it's streak free. I like that. I mean, it's, I don't know what this is. My kids got something sticky all up in there. Let's just, let's just get that off. All right, there we go. Ooh, actually that does work ooh, really well as a window cleaner. Now I did not dilute it so that you could see what would happen, but follow the instructions on here. Use only per label directions. Outdoor furniture, let's just give this a whirl right here. Let's see what happens. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I like that it's streak free. I am loving that. Just going in with my, oh, did you see? Did you see all that? Yes. Okay, I love this. The scent is amazing too. Okay, I also have this weird carpet stain here in my master bedroom that's been driving me crazy. I have no idea what it is. Dirt, something, makeup. Finally gonna attack it, see what happens. Now let's go around the horn here and see how all of these things pan out. By the way, that's already looking whiter and I have not done any scrubbing whatsoever. Oh, that's that's nasty. I have to have to take care of that situation. Uh, but let's just take a peek right here. You know how nasty it gets down in there. Let me just do a really quick flush. That is looking a lot better, including that very nasty hole. <laughs> that's been sitting for a hot minute. Let me just take a little sponge and see if we can get these uh, water spots up. See what that looks like. Get in and around there. I'm gonna flip my sponge around. The true test is when this dries. So it's looking good right now, but let's let it dry and then we're gonna come back. Oh, 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 how about this oven right here? Let's just start with the glass door. This is the hardest part to get clean of anything. I'm gonna need a little bit more scrubbing action, I can see, but ooh! And this is not much of a scrubber. If you look at this pad right here, this is coming up very nicely with very little elbow grease, yes. Snug right in there. Woo! It's been confirmed. This was rib juice in here, but look at this. The cleanup on this is absolutely amazing. Now, I did get a little help from my friend Steel Wool Quad Zero. This will be linked in the description box below. And with the added steel wool, how long did this actually take me to clean? About a minute and 30 seconds. Now, what about this situation in here? Oh, that is caked on grease and ribs are fatty and greasy. Ooh, this is coming up nicely. I'm using the soft pad right here. Okay, my friends, I, I am impressed. I'm impressed. I didn't think this was gonna actually work very well 
inside of my oven. Let's go ahead and rinse this out. Gone back in, wipe, wipe, wiping it. Let's just see, let's go with the other side. Just for extra measure here. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and wipe this down one more time. I am impressed. I see some dark spots right there. That's looking better. By the way, this camera picks up everything. There's the before and here's some after. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Loving the smell. Here's a little trick when it comes to reusing and cleaning your sponges. You could certainly soak this in bleach, but you can stick it in your microwave for two minutes according to WebMD. Moment of truth. Okay, the spray worked. Great, I'm gonna show you another little way to really get after any sort of water spots. Get yourself a razor like this and just get under it. It's kind of like removing plaque <laughs> from your sink and your countertops. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's not visible from the human eye. Um, it looks like it's fully resolved, but if I do a little scraping here on the top layer, you'll see, see that? Right there, there's more right in there. Overall, it did a great job. This is especially handy around your kitchen sink, especially if you have a uh, ton of water. We do have soft water here, but it still accumulates mineral deposits all up in there. Look at that, that's coming off really nicely. And I just heard the washing machine go off, so let's go ahead and check that. I bet this would work really well on the oven racks, and I'll show you what this is in just a second, but that will be for a later video. So make sure you subscribe with those notification bells turned on. I'm gonna go in here with a new sponge. We're gonna check that carpet here. Okay, can we see right there? I'm a little hesitant about this one, but I suppose if it can get grease and grime off your cabinets and ovens, why not your carpeting? Let's just rub that in a little bit. Let's just see, let's just switch sides for funsies, shall we? Uh, that is completely gone. My friend, this has been sitting here for weeks and weeks and I just haven't taken the time to clean it up. Wow, that worked really well. I bet this would work great in the bathtub. Okay, let's find our shirt and our sock. All right, so far, so good. Let's give it a dry. Moment of truth. Let's grab the partner white sock that did not get washed and pre-treated as a comparison and head into some better lighting. Here we are in my kitchen. Okay, this is the dirty sock. This is the clean sock and this is the shirt. Let's just ensure that there is no damage. By the way, I know that there won't be. I've done this before, but the sticker residue is completely gone. And this is an older shirt. All right, here is our pre-treated sock. All right, and here is our very dirty sock that did not get any love. You can see right in there. So yeah, it does work pretty well as a pre-treat stain remover. Now on the back here, I'm impressed by this. It says floors. I have not yet tried it with this Goo Gone all-purpose cleaner, and the sister is the Goo Gone for removing stickers, but I do have a really awesome mopping hack that will make your floors streak-free, shiny, and cleaner than ever before. So click the video on screen now, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.